PPP to recover from quarter 3 2020. Vietnam's dragon fruit well received in Australia. Free rice ATM kindness in the time of COVID-19. Hello and welcome to FBNC News. It is Jin Lê with the latest on Vietnam. According to the Ministry of Health, up to 4 p.m. today, April 10th local time, Vietnam has not recorded any new cases of COVID-19. Meanwhile, 16 more patients at six health establishments have been discharged today, bringing the total number of cured cases in Vietnam to 144, accounting for 56.4% of the total number of cases. Thus, up to now, Vietnam has 255 cases of COVID-19, of which 144 have been cured and 111 cases are being treated. According to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Vietnam has shipped one batch of DuPont protective suits to the United States to help the health workers there protect themselves from the coronavirus. At a press conference held online by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in the afternoon of the 9th of April, spokesperson of the Ministry Lê Thị Thu Hằng said the first batch of the two batches, including 450,000 protective suits made in Vietnam by DuPont, were shipped to the U.S. on the evening of the 8th of April. The second batch will be shipped to the U.S. today, 10th of April. This morning, 450,000 protective suits landed in Dallas, Texas. This was made possible because of the partnership of two great American companies, DuPont and FedEx, and our friends in Vietnam. Thank you. U.S. President Donald Trump expressed his gratitude via a tweet on Thursday. It's expected that in the near future, this protective clothing will continue to be shipped to the United States in strengthening the international cooperation on the prevention of COVID-19. Vietnam will continue to coordinate closely and accelerate cooperation in production and export of medical equipment and devices manufactured in Vietnam for countries in need of such supplies, including the United States. The Vietnam Oil and Gas Group will continue cutting costs and optimizing all resources while boosting sales to cushion the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on the oil and gas industry. In the recent online meeting reviewing performance in the first quarter of 2020 and mapping out tasks for April, the Vietnam Oil and Gas Group said that it will continue cutting costs and optimizing all resources while boosting sales to cushion the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on the oil and gas industry. Addressing the meeting, General Director Le Mạnh Hùng asked that the member companies adopt specific business plans for April as the month is expected to see further economic decline from the pandemic. He urged member companies to cut non-essential costs and make the most of resources to improve efficiency and maintain production in light of sinking oil prices. They must also intensify cooperation with major buyers around the country to boost sales and deal with the weakening demand and high inventory. Petro Vietnam and its members will also rigorously implement preventive measures against the disease and ensure the safety of their workers. The group's revenue during the period stood at 165 trillion VND as a result of falling global prices. The group contributed 20.8 trillion VND to the state budget. Now, according to Vietnam Airport Corporation, ACV, due to the unprecedented low number of passengers carried, ACV's profit from services business was only 33.9 billion VND, dropping 99.6% compared to its original plan. According to ACV, Vietnam's air transport has continuously decreased drastically since the beginning of the year. Particularly, the number of passengers carried in March was only 5.7 million, a fall of 42% over the same period last year. The number of domestic passengers was 4.7 million, dropping 25%. The number of international passengers was 1 million, with a strong fall of 71%. These numbers are continuing to decrease in April, with no certainty when they will end due to the suspension of international flights and since the authorities continue to restrict domestic routes. 
The unprecedented low number of passengers led to a sharp decline of 99.6% in ACV's profit from services business compared to its plan. Dividend incomes from subsidiaries and joint ventures all decreased by more than 95%. Vietnam's Red Flesh Dragon fruit was promoted in Australia in the past week and Vietnam has become the first and only country that has been granted import license for this product by Australia. But things are not quite good for mangoes. These fruit products have been seeing prices falling dramatically. Australia has opened to Vietnamese white flesh dragon fruit since July 2019. Since then, the output for this product has increased steadily. Recently, another kind of dragon fruit, which is red flesh product, has been able to enter this market by promoting it simultaneously in major Australian states. Meanwhile, in recent weeks, many areas of mangoes in An Giang, Dong Thap and Hậu Giang provinces have already been harvested but couldn't find markets, making its price going downwards. At present, prices of different kinds of mangoes are ranging from 4,000 to 50,000 doms per kilogram. According to the Vietnam Fruit and Vegetables Association, the total area of mango planting in the Mekong Delta provinces is currently about 45,000 hectares, with an output of about 450,000 tons a year. Regarding consumption, China has been the largest market, accounting for 70% of the region's output, followed by the EU and the US. The industry and trade departments of some southwestern provinces are now trying to connect with retailers and processing enterprises to increase purchasing of mangoes and reduce losses for farmers. But in the long term, Vietnam's mangoes would desperately need a sustainable market to stabilize their output. The COVID-19 pandemic happening over the past two months has had a severe impact on many sectors and people in all walks of life, and more so since Vietnamese people started practicing social distancing nationwide. In response to its situation, many businesses have joined the community to support people in need in many meaningful ways. Our reporter Ngo Da has shared with us a beautiful story. Queue up at a two-meter distance, wait for your turn, wash your hands, grab a bag, press the button to notify the staff, and you will receive two kilograms of rice flowing from the pipe. This automatic rice dispenser for the poor, operating 24-7, was invented by a smart lock company, BHG Lock, located at 204B Vun Lai in Tenfu District in Ho Chi Minh City. Hundreds of people from all over the city have come to this rice ATM for free rice every day. They are workers, lottery sellers, who have lost their jobs, the disabled, the sick, and others in need. I'm amazing and currently I'm out of work. I'm very glad because there's so many people, including businesses and individuals, doing something like this. I'm very thankful for this. I wouldn't be here if things were not too difficult for me. Things are hard for me lately. My house is very far from here in District 4, but I have to come here to get some rice to live through the days. The company's representative told us that the company came up with the idea of supplying rice for the poor right after the nationwide social distancing came into force since they recognized that there could be many unfortunate people struggling to make ends meet due to job losses. Since the company's core businesses are building management and smart lock technologies, the staff built this rice ATM in just two days. We used homemade materials to make this machine. It has a smart bell and a face recognition app, which will automatically open the control valve to dispense rice. The representative also shared that after the first day the machine was put into operation, the number of people coming for rice rocketed from 500 to 1,000 and 1,500 people daily. The company's initial plan of supplying 500 kg of rice a day was hence facing a challenge. Fortunately, as the company called for support, many other businesses and donors have continuously sent rice to the company's rice distribution points. 
With the number of rice donations increasing day by day, BHG Lok's representative emphasized that they will continue to expand and maintain the program in the coming days to support the poor in this time of crisis. We plan to work non-stop until the end of the pandemic. We hope there will be more philanthropists to join hands with us. We are currently scouting some areas to open more rice ATMs throughout the city. In addition to the rice ATM, we've seen many other goodies these days. In several corners of Ho Chi Minh City, we can easily find places that offer free meals or a sense of food for the disadvantaged. These are truly heartfelt gestures in the midst of the tough battle against the disease and remind us that kindness is always present. That's all for FBNC News for today. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. Stay safe.